Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and hi Pisces. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys today. In case this reading resonates with you, Pisces, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Now let's see what messages are going to show up for you. <clears throat> there could be changes that you're making in your home at the present moment or thinking about doing so pisces journey and action okay so i'm seeing um i'm seeing travel cards here so some of you're planning to travel or something or i see this energy of move maybe okay some of you are thinking about moving but Pisces, you're being told here to take action, okay? Um, I feel like there is something here, Pisces, that's um, confusing you, perhaps, okay? Some of you feel like there's a person you trusted in or there's a person you, you know... It's like you opened up the that door to someone and they deceived you in some way and with that walking away and the sun card a lot of you are contemplating walking away from something because some of you feel like that's the only thing that's going to make you happy at the moment or there's a sense of freedom here that is attached to you walking away from something pisces it's almost like you're looking forward to some sort of movement here and a lot of you are also planning to leave or walk away from something. Honestly, if you've been thinking about walking away from something, this is this is what's going to make you happy. It is going to bring a sense of ease for you. Okay. Pisces. Some of you are confused about about a partner or making a decision in regards to something. It's almost like it's almost like there are two different pathways or two different decisions right in front of you and you feel confused to make that decision. Some of you feel like there is a love situation here. Um you know, there's someone here you love to be with, you love to connect with, but you feel like there's overindulgence of some sort in this connection. And you're trying to make a rational decision, a rational choice here, because you don't want to feel like you're giving too much into something where you're not getting much back. Whoever this person is who's coming in with this love energy, you feel like there's lack of balance in the situation. Um, you may even feel like there are like lack of boundaries here, you know, with this person, specifically Pisces. Look at this. You know, as much as I feel like you you want to give this person a chance or you want to make things work with them a lot of you also feel like there are certain things that this person should be realizing on their own okay community yeah pisces i also see you socializing okay you could be meeting friends you could be meeting other people or sharing that lighthearted energy, lighthearted energy with other people. That's something that's going to bring you joy. You could be going to a party or an event. Or I just feel like taking your energy out of this and pouring it into something that fulfills you is going to be good for you at the moment. Because whatever the situation is, it's it's kind of. Um, Yeah, this is something that makes you happy, Pisces. This person does make you happy. Um, but the issue here is that you're also contemplating walking away from this because you feel confined in this situation. Now, I don't know if this is something that this person is doing or this is just your own perception. Because here, you're looking forward to other things in your life that you're planning and you know things that are gonna give you your self sense of self confidence and here you kind of feel stuck somewhere show me this person's energy all tied up see i knew it i knew it pisces 
it's either that this person does something um, that makes you feel like you're stuck in this connection or something like that, or even if they're not doing anything, you just feel like you need to be taking your power back from this because maybe this is not something that you want to indulge in or you want to create some form of distance between you and this person. This person's energy is overpowering your energy at the moment. And I also feel like Pisces, you're letting this person get away with a lot more than you should be allowing them okay because just because you have a soft spot for them pisces um all right pisces let's have a look at your tarot messages now let's see what's going to show up for you Pisces, it's almost like there's a love situation here that's coming with the price, okay? And the price here is deception, it's mind games being played. I feel like Pisces, the thing right now is that you need to give yourself some time before you open up to someone. It does look like some of you these days, you could be having a hard time sleeping or making a rational decision about something. And this is not just about love. This is also about maybe some other area of your life. You are feeling heartbroken, but at the same time, I feel like you're striving here to get out of this mindset, you know? For the past couple of weeks, you may have been feeling a little down or like everything is all over the place. Maybe even mentally, you're very exhausted. But the thing here is that you're not giving up. You are fighting to get out of this state and you have healed your heart. But the thing here, Pisces, is that you're still, it's like energetically, you're giving into something that's, you know, because the five of swords and the three of swords is like, no matter what we do here, it's always a game. It's uh, mind games. It's petty energy. And with the Ace of Cups, it's like giving your love to something here that's draining you. Some of you also feel like the person that you're dealing with, you have to babysit them, okay? Maybe this person's not financially good and you are because there's some sort of assistance here that you're providing this person, but you're draining yourself. I feel like this is a typical Pisces thing where we tend to overgive when we don't even have a lot to give in the first place. And that is exactly what's happening here is that you're giving into something where you don't have a lot of energy left in you, Pisces. This is something that has drained you. Let's see what's your future energy and then I'm going to have a look at the person that you're dealing with. What's the future energy like for Pisces? The Chariot, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Pisces, I do feel like there's travel here for some of you, okay? I feel like Pisces, this is good because you're going to be realizing your worth, your value. A lot of you still need to sit with yourself and realize what's your worth, what's your value. Because you don't need to dumb yourself down to for someone else. Because it's like you're already in that place of the king or the queen of pentacles. But with the page of pentacles, you're lowering yourself down for someone. I do feel like Pisces in the future here, you're making a decision for yourself. You're realizing your worth, your value. Um, and I feel like Pisces, you're also going to cut someone out of your life. Maybe this energy it could be of a friend or a lover, but I really feel like there's a sense of direction here. There's a lot of determination here to move forward because I feel like this is good because you may be in this energy right now, but in the future, you're making a decision to cut it out 
Some of you may even tell this person that, hey, you know, I'm getting tired or with the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords can be a very fast paced energy. But at the same time, this can also represent harsh truth or uh, confessing something that may be harsh. OK, I like this because I feel like Pisces, you're making a decision here for yourself and you're not really letting um, anyone make a decision for you, which is good. I really like your future energy. So let's see what's your person's energy, Pisces. Pisces, this is someone who's taking things slow. I feel like money-wise, things are slow on their side. On your side, I don't feel like there's an issue with money, but maybe on their side, they are slowly making progress. Pisces, this is someone who has a lot of confidence in you, but I feel like this person's energy is very dominating. What's the death card about? Oh no, Pisces. Pisces. Um, what's that five of swords energy? What's that five of swords? The lovers and the hangman, ten of swords. I feel like Pisces, you're doing things in the name of love, but at the same time, the situation is stuck. But with the lover's card, it's still showing me there's a lot of love between you and this person. Um, you want to fight for this connection, Pisces. You want to show up for this person. But at the same time with the hangman, you don't see a lot of progress here. Okay, which may be the reason why you're thinking about pulling back from this. Now, when it comes to this person, Pisces, you know, they have a lot of confidence in you. They like you. They want you. But they're feeling like no matter what they do, it's never going to be enough for you. They're feeling they're not feeling satisfied with where things are going. They feel like their effort is of no use. And they feel like if things continue like this, this relationship or this connection may come to an end. I don't feel like this person has any ill intention. It's just that they're seeming to be immature. Um... You're someone that they have, you know, they've never experienced a person like you before. And I really don't see any ill intentions here, Pisces. And I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that this person is this, that and the other. But one problem here that I do see is that their energy is very overpowering. OK. This is a dominant energy. But it's like, Pisces, this person wants to show up for you. They want to change for you. If you tell them, hey, this is something that I don't like, they, they want to change it for you. But you're getting to a point where you don't want to be sitting there. And like I said earlier, you don't want to be babysitting this person. But they're feeling like no matter what they do, it's not going to be enough for you, Pisces. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have a look in your extended. Where is this relationship headed towards Pisces? Let me actually pull your cards before I give you your general message. So Pisces, in your extended reading, we are going to have a look at where is this relationship going? Um, this person's feelings for you their view of you let's give it one more shuffle okay all right so this person's uh feelings for you their view of you actions they plan on taking where is this relationship going your advice okay i want to pull two cards for where's this relationship going so let's see um I'm going to have a look at the energies for single Pisces. What's up? Okay. If there's someone new or not, we will have a look. Where is your love life headed towards? And what's your advice when it comes to love Pisces? So I'm going to reveal those cards in your extended. Um, I'm also going to have a look at your general messages and messages from your higher self. 
in your extended. So do have a look if you wish to do so, it will be linked below. Queen of Pentacles reverse, Two of Wands reverse, Nine of Cups reverse at the bottom of the deck. Uh, Pisces, this person here has to leave their comfort zone to make a change in this connection. And I'm also getting here, Pisces, that there could be codependency issues on your end or on your person's end. Let's see, what are the general messages for Pisces? What are the what are general messages for Pisces? General messages for Pisces. The Sun card, the Hermit card, and the Page of Cups. By the way, the signs that I see in this reading are uh, Cancer, Gemini, Pisces. I also see Scorpio energy, Virgo, and Leo energy. Okay, so your person might be uh, one of these signs, or you may also have these placements. For your general messages, Pisces, there's something you need to have a look at, and you need to have a deeper look at, basically. There is something here that makes you happy, but you also have to see... Um, it's, it's almost like you need to change your perspective about something that, that's making you happy, Pisces. Pisces, your general message has something to do with losing hope in someone or in a connection, in a situation for the sake of your own happiness. This is the second time we're seeing the Sun card. It showed up in your Oracle messages as well. Um, and the Hermit card here is talking about contemplating, making a wise decision. I feel like Pisces, you know that something is toxic. And this is what you need to recognize. I don't know if it's related to this person or something else in your life, but you're seeming to feel like there is something that's not in your control and you're very tired, emotionally tired. But the Hermit and the Sun card here tells me that you have the wisdom to get out of the situation or you understand it more than you're realizing. Pisces. Okay. So let's see. Let's close off this reading with your oracle messages. Let's see. What does Pisces need to know at the moment? What does Pisces need to know at the moment? Time for a nap. Pisces, you need to rest. Okay, you need to allow some time, you know, you, you need to take some time out for yourself. You're energetically uh, drained. Milk and honey. Pisces, I feel like you just need to relax and there are certain things that are going to work themselves out. There's also this energy of abundance for you with milk and honey card. And then deep knowing, yes, Pisces, you know it. Um, Spirit is telling you that you know something. You just know it. You don't need to seek external validation. You don't need to go outside of yourself to make this decision. A lot of you just know what you're doing and what's up in a situation. And you have the wisdom here to choose your own path. But for some reason, you're not because you're energetically drained. And when we are drained, it does... Um, Mm. it does affect how we make decisions right let's see pisces let's see what are your moon messages a personal issue reaches resolution and the energy is gaining momentum. Things are going to be moving forward in your life, Pisces. This is not a stuck energy. And there's also a personal issue that's going to get resolved. Something that's on your mind, something that you could be stressing out about is going to get resolved. Okay? So that's about it. Those were the messages that showed up for you, Pisces. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a look at the extended link below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.